Hi everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to be showing you how to update and delete data inside of an SQLite database using Node.js. If you're wondering how all this code already got here, I'll leave a link in the video description showing you. Um, I already made a first part of this tutorial where I demonstrated how to make a new database, create a table in that database, and insert data and view the data that's inside of the database. So if you're interested in seeing that, feel free to check it out. If not, you can just copy the code here or just watch and follow along. So the first thing I'm gonna do is run this. And currently what this program does is in here at console logs, all of the entries. And the one we're gonna focus on is this first one, which has an ID of one and a first name of Mike. So I'm gonna comment out the block that displays it, including the SQL statement. And I'm gonna make a new SQL statement. So const SQL equals, and this is gonna equal update. The table that I wanna update, which for me is users. And then I can say set. This is gonna be the column I wanna set. I'm gonna change this first name from Mike to something else. So let's say first name. And then that can be set equal to a question mark, which will make sense in a minute. And then I need to put the condition where I want this to happen. I'm gonna say where ID equals question mark. Now when I run this, I'm gonna say db run, pass it my SQL, and then I'm gonna pass it an array this array is gonna contain the variables that are gonna fill in these question marks. So first, I want the name. Um, let's make my new name Joe. And then the second one is gonna be the ID, which is an integer of one, as you can see. And then it's gonna take in a function with an error. And here, if there's an error, we can just do what we do down here, which is just return that there's an error. Cool, so let's run it. And this should work. In order to test it, I'll comment this out, uncomment this. Perfect. The first name is now Joe, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, let's say I wanted to change this one inside of this code, I would simply change it from one to this ID. You know, maybe I wanted to change it based on first name. I could change this to first name and then change that to, you know, Carson, just like that. And it would do the same thing. And that's how you update an entry or row in a table. It's pretty simple. The next step is gonna be deleting a row. So I'm gonna comment out this, which displays it all. And I'm gonna edit this update. I'm gonna get rid of this SQL query, and instead I'm gonna say delete from, again, the table name, which for me is users. And then we're gonna add the condition. I'm gonna say where ID equals question mark. For me, I'm going to delete this first one where the name is Joe. So when I run this, instead of passing an array of Joe and one, I just have to pass the ID. So I'll just be passing one. And now again, if I comment this out and uncomment the code that I was using to display it, we should see that that row with an ID of one is no longer there. Perfect. And that is how you update and delete using SQLite in Node.js. Hopefully you found this helpful. Let me know if you did. Have a great day.